What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski and I am back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a breakdown of yet another Sugo Fest that will be coming next week in One Piece Treasure Cruise Global. Now once again we are getting more new units so you know, I know a lot of people are going to be a little bit mad about this, but yes, we are getting new units, and the legend for this Sugofers batch is insane. And we are going to go through and break down every single new unit in this batch today. So I hope you guys do go on to enjoy today's video, and if you do go on to enjoy it, make sure to smack the like button down below, as it's always greatly appreciated, guys. But without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So the first unit we are going to have a look at is Ricky the Mysterious Gladiator. Now this guy is a 5 star unit which does evolve from a 4 star unit and is an int cerebral striker type character with 30 cost and 4 socket spots. So all of the units in this batch will have 4 sockets and a cost of 30. Now this guy's stats at level 99, he's got pretty average stats, you know, he's got 2,689 health which is actually pretty decent. His attack is really low only at 900 and his recovery is reasonably high at 395 but having that really low attack stat does bring him down a lot. Now his captain effect will boost the attack and HP of int characters by two times. So it's basically a double HP and attack leader like Vista. So if you guys don't know what Vista does, he does the exact same thing as a captain effect, which is actually pretty interesting that they're bringing back old captain effects uh, into newer units. I don't, I don't really know. I don't really understand why. I mean, it could be just for the fact that, you know, a lot of people are struggling to pull Vista and they want to put more units like Vista in the, in the uh, rare recruit pool perhaps, but I'm not too sure. But he's special, which starts at 17 turns and maxes at uh, an unknown turn at the moment will change quick and psi orbs into int orbs. A little bit of a weird special. I don't know why they chose quick specifically. It doesn't really make any sense. But it changes the negative psi orbs into int orbs as well. So previously, you had to use really weak characters, like really weak Fortnite and story mode characters, in order to actually get full orb control like that. Um, but it's actually really cool that we are getting Ricky who does have this ability and also Tao Nami does the same sort of thing as well. Uh, overall, a really average unit, like he's definitely not a really bad unit, but he's definitely not a really good unit either. He's kind of like in the mid mid tier of, uh, of units. He's overall not too bad, but now let's move on to the second character of the batch, which is Leo. So here we have Leo, captain of the Tontata Warriors. Now this guy is a 5 star unit and he is a quick striker free spirit character. And at level 99, his stats are pretty okay. He has 1,934 health, 1,351 attack, and 371 recovery. So his recovery and attack are actually pretty decent. Uh, so overall, he's actually a really nice unit. And his captain effect will boost the attack of striker and free spirit characters by 2.25 and their recovery by 1.5. So this guy's actually not too bad. If you guys don't have a really good free spirit or striker leader and pull this guy, then you should be pretty happy because, you know, that's actually a pretty decent uh, captain ability. Uh, at least it's not two times attack and recovery. At least you're getting a higher attack multiplier. 2.25 is still a pretty decent multiplier. Now his special does have multi-stages, but his stage 2 special, which starts at 20 turns and will max at 16 turns, will delay all enemies for one turn, lock all orbs for one turn, and then cut the current HP of one enemy by 20%. This guy is just insane, like, he's special to do three different things. Uh, also, uh, Strikers were kind of missing a really good turn delayer, um, you know, because there is Log Usopp, but he's not available anymore. Uh, so you have this guy here as a Striker who has the ability to delay enemies and also can lock your orbs, even though you do already have our Kiji as a Striker that already kind of does that. It is kind of cool that you're getting another character like that. And he also will cut the current HP of one enemy by 20%. This makes this guy just phenomenal. You know, you're not only getting really two really good abilities, but you're also going to be cutting down the enemy's HP as well on top of those really nice abilities so overall this is probably one of the better units of the batch and probably one of the better rare recruit units overall because he can fit onto quick striker and free spirit team so overall this guy is an absolute amazing unit Moving on right now, we have Mancherry, the princess of the Tontata tribe. Now, this unit here is a 5-star unit as well, and is a Psy Striker Free Spirit character, so the exact same classes as the previous unit that we had a look over, which is Leo, uh, being a Striker and a Free Spirit type character. And uh, at level 99, at her max stats, she has 1,500 health, 642 attack, and 557 recovery. So, the health and attack are very low, but that recovery stat is... One of the highest, if not the highest, recovery in the game without Cotton Candies. Now, definitely, if you guys pull this unit, you definitely want to put Recovery Cotton Candies on this unit. And we'll go over why that is 
uh, you know, a thing to do with the Captain Effect and the special. So the Captain Effect will recover four times this character's recovery in HP at the end of each turn. So just that all alone is just amazing because you're going to be recovering something like 2,000 every single turn. And if you have Double Man Sherry, it's like 4,000. And if you have Cotton Candies, it's even more. Uh, but overall, you're not really getting an attack multiply, so it's not a very good Captain Effect. But her special at stage 3, it does have 3 stages, which starts at 24 turns for the last stage and does not have a current known max yet. But it will recover 50 times this character's recovery in health and then remove Numbness, Poison, Recovery Down and Blindness. Now, a lot of you guys out there will be wondering what is Numbness. So Numbness is an ability that enemies can inflict on you that will basically mean that your characters have a chance of not attacking for that turn and it will only affect certain characters. So some characters will be able to attack and some other characters will not be able to attack. And uh, we'll get more into that once we get more dungeons and more story islands that will be more of a prominent thing. But overall, this unit has an amazing recovery ability. Uh, being able to recover 50 times this character's recovery in her special is amazing because with full maxed out cotton candies with 100 recovery and using her special you can recover 32,000 HP which is crazy considering that 6 star legend Marco can recover like 49,000 or something along those lines uh, with his special so you know this this unit here has amazing recovery capabilities and uh, has the ability to be on a side team on a striker team or a free spirit team so especially with Sabo and Shanks those guys need to be at full health in order to get the most multipliers as possible so this guy or this girl actually in Man Sherry can fit on a striker uh, on a striker team, on a free spirit team like Sabo, or on a side team with Strong World Shanks. So overall, a really, really nice unit, and you should be very happy if you do end up pulling this unit in the upcoming Sugo Fest. Moving on from Mansherry, we now have Kiros, former captain of the Riku Royal Army. So this guy here is a 5-star unit and is a deck slasher powerhouse character with 30 cost and 4 sockets, and at max level, at level 99, his health is actually pretty decent at uh, 2,377. His attack is 1,373 and a recovery of 290. So all round, some very nice stats, you know, pretty... Pretty nice stats, you know, I wouldn't say it's like the worst stats, but it's definitely not the best stats, but it's just really nice all-rounded stats. And his Captain of Fades will boost the attack of all characters by 2.5 times with a cost of 30 or less. So this guy is sort of like a Sengoku in a way, where he will boost every type of character as long as they have a specific cost. So being cost of 30 or less, you're getting 2.5 times attack. This guy is actually really good because a lot of the rare recruit units that are not legends have below 30 costs. So basically you can use anyone except for legends and raid bosses as your uh, in your team with this guy as a captain, which is amazing. This guy is just phenomenal as a captain. And his special, which starts at 18 turns and maxes at 12 turns, will deal dex damage to one enemy and then change his own orb into dex and then boost his own attack by two times for one turn. So overall, this guy's going to be dealing a lot of damage in the turn you activate this special. So, uh, you know, against, you know, quick bosses or quick dungeons in particular, this guy's going to be an absolute beast. Uh, but overall, his captain effect is mainly what you, what you want to be using him for. But overall, there are just better captains out there. If you already have Sengoku, then this guy's kind of redundant. Uh, but this guy is still pretty good, you know, boosting the attack of all characters by 2.5. As long as they're abiding by that cost uh, condition, then it's all good. Uh, but overall, I would say he's pretty much a standard unit. I wouldn't say he's the best unit of the batch. But overall, he's a very solid unit. And you should be definitely happy if you pull him in the upcoming Sugo Fest. Moving on to the last unit of the batch, besides the legend himself, we have Don Sai, Flower Country Gang, and this guy here is a 5 star unit, and is a strength striker fighter character. Now at max level, at level 99, he has a little over 3000 health, and he has 1300 attack, and then a recovery of 202, so some very, very nice stats, and his captain effect will boost the attack of striker and fighter characters by 1.5 at the start of the chain, and then if you get 3 perfects, you'll get 3 times attack to strikers and fighters. So overall, a really nice captain effect. Although, you know, if you already have like gear three or something like that, and this guy really isn't that good because gear three overall, in my opinion, is just a little bit better. But this guy is, he just has an amazing special. So let's go and have a look at his special real quick. It starts at 23 turns and maxes at 17. It will deal 20 times his attack in strength damage to all enemies. And then for two turns, it will boost the attack of striker and fighter characters. Now that actual boost is dependent on how much health you have when you activate the special. So the multiplier goes as follows. So if you're below 30% and you activate the special, you'll get a 1.75 times boost for two turns. 
if you're between 30 and 70 percent it's a 1.5 boost and if it's if you're above 70 percent you'll get a 1.2 times boost so obviously you want to be as low health as possible when you activate the special in order to get the 1.75 times boost for two turns that is amazing you know that's like uh 3d 2y zora with slashes and it's like koala with fighters um except koala only boosts for one turn but still this is actually an amazing special if for all of you guys that like strikers and you like fighters this guy is an amazing unit to have for those teams so overall this guy is actually probably one of the best of the batch i still would say probably leo is probably the best but this guy is definitely a close second for being the best unit of the batch don sai flower country gang a very good unit in coliseum batch 2. Now we move on to the powerhouse of the whole Sugo Fest, being Fujitora Marine Admiral. This is the brand new legend, the brand new six star unit, Fujitora. Now this guy is a beast. He's an absolute monster. So let's go ahead and break him down. He is a driven powerhouse character with a cost of 55 and five sockets. So that's nice getting five sockets on a legend. His stats overall are very good. He has 99, uh, level 99 is his max level, of course. Uh, his health is 3,809. So it's getting close to 4,000, which is phenomenal. His attack is 1,380 and a recovery of 325. So very, very overpowered stats. Very, very good. And his captain effect will boost HP of driven characters by 1.5 and they're attacked by three times if they have a matching orb. So you have to get a matching orb for them to get three times attack. If they do not have a matching orb, they will get 1.5 times attack. However, that might sound like, okay, so you have to have matching orbs, you know, it's, it's all about luck. But, 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 Fujitora will make tandem and recovery orbs beneficial to driven characters. This means that tandem and recovery orbs are classified as matching orbs for driven characters. So not only are the attribute of that character, but also tandem and recovery orbs are classified as the matching orbs. So you're getting a very high chance of getting matching orbs, and especially if you have like the highest level orb matching socket on your team, you're going to be getting so much damage output, and not only that, you're getting a 1.5 times HP boost for your driven characters as well. So this guy is definitely a much better captain than Doflamingo when you compare the two. However, what you can do is use a Doflamingo 6-star legend and a Fujitora 6-star legend captain. So these two work very well hand-in-hand -hand, uh, because Doflamingo himself can give out matching orbs and also Fujitora himself, just an absolute beast that he is. You know, you're boosting HP and you're also getting the three times attack boost with the matching orbs as well. So his captain effect is phenomenal, an absolutely amazing captain to use in One Piece Treasure Cruise. Now his special is just amazing as well. His special, which starts at 24 turns, does not have a current known match turn rate as of yet it will cut the current HP of each enemy by 20% at the end of each turn though it will cut the current HP of each enemy by 20% again for the next three turns like how crazy is that just just try and process that process that in your head guys that is just phenomenal when you activate the special you're just going to be cutting everyone's HP by 20% and then for the next three turns it's going to keep cutting them keep cutting their HP by 20% like, I can't even process how overpowered that is. It is absolutely crazy. This guy against raid bosses is just going to just tear through them. Just any bosses in general. He just tears through them, doing so much damage. And uh, yeah, it's just by reducing their health every single turn by 20%, 20%, 20%. It's actually amazing, as well as getting so much damage output with his captain effect. Just this guy is just a monster. This guy is definitely worthy of a six star legend and probably one of my favorite legends in all of One Piece Treasure Cruise in total. This guy is just an absolute monster. So definitely try and hunt him down in the upcoming Sugo Fest. So that is going to conclude yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. And if you guys have enjoyed it, then make sure to smack the like button down below as it's always greatly appreciated. And if you want to stay up to date with all of the content that I post on my channel, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, then make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But other than that, guys, I will see you guys within the next video.